Hey guys, welcome to the CrossFit Grandview podcast. This is podcast number 37. We've taken about a five, six month break from the podcast. And uh, just to let you know a little bit why, um, in the fall of 2021, became the busiest time in the history of the business. Uh, I was personally project managing the construction of CrossFit Grandview 3.0, Grandview Barbell 2.0. We merged it all into one facility and basically created a headquarters for both CrossFit Grandview, Grandview Barbell, our Edge Online Training. It also headquarters the Body Biz and Affiliate PT, um, as well as uh, Michael Murphy's photography here. Uh, so we've got a lot going on all under one roof. And in the first five weeks, we are cranking. This thing is doing exactly what it was supposed to do. I'm thrilled with how it's turned out. And uh, the gym's vibe and energy is incredible. So thank you everyone who's listening to this for, for making that, you know, the whole transition super smooth and understanding any little hiccups that we had. Uh, along the way. Um, one thing with the new gym, uh, we're going to get back to podcasting more often. Uh, we were doing it about once a month before we took this break to get everything together. And ideally, I'd like to get it going, you know, probably bi-monthly and really try. And what I want to really do is not monologue as much as I was maybe the last four or five podcasts and have guests on. So I brought my wife here. This is her first time on the podcast, Kate. So she's going to be helping me with this. And really the purpose of this podcast today is to catch everyone up on what's been going on and what we have coming up in 2022 and beyond. I'm super excited because I think, you know, we really got into a great rhythm at the old CrossFit Grandview. We had our annual events. Uh, we just kind of, we did what we did really well for a long time, but now moving and expanding into the space uh, and just growing as people too, we have a lot more on the horizon and we'll get into that a little bit later in the podcast. But the first thing I want to do with that five month break uh, we had a lot of people really help out. I don't want to turn this into like a huge like award ceremony speech or anything like that. But what I do feel really necessary in doing is uh, something that I, I haven't had a chance to do is is properly give um, a lot of shout outs to people who really helped. Um, so I, I kind of want to start out with a couple of members who really helped really just put this project together. So this place wouldn't have came together without, uh, our members, uh, Peter Merkel, who he found the building, um, got this on my radar and brokered the deal. And then also, uh, Cole Ellis, both of these guys have been with us since 2013, um, Cole Ellis is a real estate developer and he essentially mentored me through the deal, set me up with attorneys, uh, contractors, um, architects, every single person that I needed to put together this giant project and, uh, and really just acted as a sounding board for me throughout the entire process. And, uh, I didn't know what I was doing and w without his help, there's no way I would have made it through this. So both of these guys, I, I owe the world to them and, and they did, uh, you know, they made this whole thing happen. But on top of that, throughout this whole process, we've had a ton of members just individually and coaches help us. And I'm not going to remember half of them, but I'm just going to go through. I wrote a couple people down before I jumped into this podcast, just so I can remember. We have a... <clears throat> Blair Downey, who he helped us with the fans. So we got our old fans transferred over. We got new fans. They got all that set up. Him and Jamie did. Uh, Tyler Ferrix, uh helped us with uh, with doors and garage doors. And then uh, and then Fran Mosley, uh, Mosky, he um, came over. He helped us. He, he donated a trailer for us to use, which helped us get over. And then when we were short on, on guys, he actually like offered his crew up to come over and help out. So all these guys from contractors to, uh, people who have, you know, companies that do things for the building. Um, these guys really helped out, um, from the body biz, uh, Kate's client, Jenny, 
huge. She organized all the labor. She organized movers, all the decor. Um, she really like helped in, in a lot of ways project manage a lot of the things that we did. She was she was amazing. And then uh, her client Jim, you guys see the Grandview barbell sign. He hand built that himself and then we have a crossfit grandy one that's going to go up on the other side and uh jim weta uses 3d printers and he could have a side hustle doing this like he does amazing stuff he could make like costumes for like marvel movies and <laughs> and uh so he he uh he built that sign and um you know saved us a ton of money and I can't thank Jim enough. It was one of the coolest things anyone's ever done. Uh, the CrossFit Grandview coaching staff. I mean, these guys stepped up. Mike documented everything. Not only documented it, but was in there grabbing rubber mats, helping. Dan and Arlie, they'd come in. They're working, you know, coaching 5 a.m. classes, and they're leaving at, you know, 8 30 p.m. working straight through so when it's crunch time i mean those guys you know they grab their coffee and they just go um drake nick and megan coming in the day after christmas and just busting it to make sure the gym was ready to rock and roll and we're ready and you know james was rock solid the whole time as well i mean these guys our entire staff just stepped up in such a huge way and it was really cool and i think we brought that momentum into this place what was neat is we had a lot of these guys, their newer staff over the last year or two, and it got us all working together as a team. And I feel like we all got a lot closer, like working hard together, talking and uh, and being collaborative. And we've taken that momentum and really brought it to uh, to just the team in general here. And it's been like you can feel the vibe is different, like in a in a really cool way. So I think what really started that was actually this horrific almost move <laughs> that we're like just dragging stuff and moving a decade worth of equipment over. But in this weird way, it really brought us closer. Kind of what bonds people together in CrossFit, going through horrific workouts mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> together. And then um, I just wanted to kind of finish this up with uh, – on Sunday, we had our final workout at 880 Kinnear, and then uh, <clears throat> all the members just came out in force and really helped us just move everything over. Patrick and Jerry were just, you know, they busted it the whole time. John Coniglio was just going back and forth with her truck. Um, Anna Rice, all the TVs and computers and all of the stuff and the kids' room, and she put together all of this stuff. Anna's been with us all the way since the, uh, the old road gym, and she just works, you know, for a week straight helping us get everything together all the pictures you see hung all the decor uh she did a great job with that uh erica heather hannah every day we were moving mats when we put something out for members to help those ladies came out and dragged mats with us for three hours and um you know wouldn't even let me buy them lunch or anything they just came out and they just wanted to help so I'm forgetting probably half the names. I, I, I oh, mentioned yeah, John, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I just wanted to like use this podcast while it was still fresh enough off the move to thank everyone for making this happen because without all the help and everyone pulling together, we'd still be pulling stuff over from the, the gym. So um, I really appreciate you guys, and I can't thank you enough. Uh, so the next part of this um, – I want to gloss over, and we made a video earlier, and we can refer back to that. We do have the open coming up in two weeks, and I just want to gloss over really quick how that's going to work. If you've been here years in, in years past, almost identical. Uh, this year, the open, it's going to start the week of February 24th. They'll release the workouts on Thursday. Um, <clears throat> You will sign up on the – it's games.crossfit.com. I keep it really simple. I don't name anything we do weird. You're going to sign up for your affiliate, CrossFit Grandview. Our team's name is CrossFit Grandview as well. That's it. Straight up very simple. 
times that we'll be performing the open workouts. So they'll release them Thursday. Friday, 7.30 to 8.30. Friday, 1 to 3.30 p.m. Saturday, all the classes will be doing the open workout. Even if you're not submitting scores, that'll be the Saturday workout. The 11 and noon class, we're gonna run that like a competition. So athletes will warm themselves up and then we'll be organizing heats. You will be responsible for warming yourself up. I'll go over everything. I'll brief the athletes on the standards of the workouts. You'll perform the workout. We'll also ask you if you're performing the workout, you're gonna pay it forward and then also judge. We don't want you to ask someone to judge you, do the workout and then just leave. We want you, if you're gonna be doing the workout, go ahead and pay it forward, judge. And then when we're done, clean, help clean up the room. Um, Sunday, we'll cancel the last class of the day to give us another chance at doing the workout. So the noon Sunday class will be an open workout time. And then Monday, our last chance is 7.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. and then 1 to 3.30 p.m. Now, if this block, there's a lot of times here, none of them work for you, shoot us an email. We'll make sure there's a coach in the, in the gym. We'll get someone to judge you and, and be able to set that up. So we'll make sure you guys have ample opportunity to do it. What we don't want you doing, going into barbell, 24 hour access, trying to perform the workouts there, then submitting your score to me with no judges, no people on staff. We wanna run this very official like a competition. Also, if you do it at another affiliate, you do not submit your score to me. You submit that to the affiliate that you perform that in, okay? <clears throat> After the open party, we will be doing that at Woodland's Backyard. That's where we've done it the last couple of years. Um, that'll be from 5 to 8.30-ish p.m., maybe 9. Um, I'll be taking care of your drinks and food there. We have a section in the back. Um, it's a huge bar, uh, really fun. They have arcade games and skee-ball and, and fun things like that. And uh, great food, great drinks. A um, couple of our members are owners there. So we always have a great time. That will be our spring social. Um, I'll give more information on the individual and the team qualifiers and the masters and all of that. That'll be sort of its own little video when we wrap up the open stuff. Um, for the people who've been doing the team workouts uh, on Saturdays, we will continue to do that after the open, but it will be a little lower volume, more skill-based, more just staying in the rhythm of doing the workouts because you'll be doing the open workout and we don't want to like smoke you guys. So you'll be working with the worm, you'll be doing pegboards, but more, um, more for skill and less for intensity. Um, I'm gonna get Kate involved here a little bit and we'll start to talk about some events that we have coming up and I'm really excited to uh, have her get more involved a lot with the, the stuff that we do at the gym and, and Kate and I have really, over the last year or two, been trying to grow as people and work on things like meditating and, and it's some stuff that we're gonna end up sharing with you guys and giving you opportunities to jump in on. Um, but the first thing we're gonna go over is, is just our summer shred and, and kind of how that's gonna work. And that's something we always run through the Body Biz and CrossFit Grandview. Um, and we're gonna be starting that a little bit earlier this year, but yeah. Yeah, so summer shred will begin <clears throat> uh, March 26th. It's always on a Saturday. Um, and summer shred is a six week uh, program where we focus mainly on like running and getting you in good running shape. Um, every year we kind of pick a little bit of a different event to do in the beginning and at the end and try to test out that same event to see how you improve. So um, it's a time of year where the weather starts to get a little nicer and we can get outside and we usually just pick um, different locations all around Columbus to do workouts. So some of our favorite is, well my favorite personally, is Hoover Dam. It was closed last year so we'll try to get back to that. But we usually visit Hoover Dam, um, High Banks Park. Uh, Brandon loves the uh, uh, obstacle course at Audubon Park. We always do that. Um, but this year we're looking at testing in with a 5K and testing out with a 5K. 
Um, we're kind of tossing around some ideas of how to do that test out 5K, and we are maybe looking at putting on an official 5K. I don't think that's going to come to fruition this year, um, but we might table that again and look at it again next year. Um, but it, it's a very fun event, and we do have child care there, so we usually allow up to like 10 children. Um, to uh, be watched, uh, we'll bring our nanny out uh, so you know the children can be safe while we go do a workout. And it's usually around like 8.30 a.m. on Saturday mornings, but we'll be making more posts about that, especially as we get closer to the time. But the start date for that will be uh, Saturday, March 26th, and then uh, we finish up um, either Saturday or Sunday. Um, it would be Saturday, uh, uh, April 30th, or Sunday, May 1st uh, with our last workout. You want to do Murph? If you plan on doing Murph this year, I can't think of a better way to really prep for it. Because you're gonna have six really hard running workouts all outside, really just getting dialed in. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what are we finishing up May? You said yes. Yeah, so we don't have to program every year. We always have to like kind of program around Murph because Murph's on Monday, yep. and we're doing a workout Saturday. So this would be great because we don't have to like worry about that. So we'll be that we'll be wrapped up with summer shred, and then we'll have a couple of weeks before we we tackle Murph. And uh, so if you do summer shred, you know make sure we're hitting our Cindy rounds, which I'll be planning in the workouts. But you will be dialed in and ripped up for Murph. So. Uh, Great way to prep for that without having to do, uh, you know, extra work on your own. And summer shred, what I always tell people is when I come out of that, <clears throat> those extra workouts, I am in the best shape I am for the year. That's when we typically have our pool party right after that. We're doing it a little earlier. We still will have the pool party. It'll just be in a couple months after um, we wrap up the, uh, the summer shred. But... I highly recommend it. We typically have a group of about 30 people do summer shred with us. Um, do we we plan on capping that or anything like that? We've never really had to cap it. Okay. Um, so I, I guess we can get creative if, if there's more people okay. run to Because we have more something. people at the gym yeah. now. And, yeah, so we'd okay. love everybody to join. And if, if the group gets really large, we could even run a couple heats where maybe we do the first heat, maybe Lexi does the second. She works out with sure. us in the first and does the second. So we'll navigate that, but we'd love to get people together. It's just a fun energy for everyone to get in good shape for summer. Um, so we'll end in like at the beginning of May and the, we still do want to have a pool party. Um, we've had great success with Hoof Hearted. So I've kind of like tagged a date July 2nd, which is a Saturday to do that. Um, and we'll, we'll get more details finalized there. But um, we usually announce the winners of Summer Shred uh, <laughs> during that pool party. We can announce them earlier, but we just kind of like to give prizes at that pool party. It's a lot of fun and people get recognized in front of a group of people, which is always nice. Um, but we'd love for you guys to participate in Summer Shred. If you have any questions about that or the workouts, uh, please feel free to message us personally. But really, it's for all fitness levels. So you don't have to be an expert runner, but we do have expert runners. So um, if you're in great shape, come out. If you are just getting off the couch to start running or you haven't ran at all all winter, that's okay too. We can scale the workouts down for you, just like any CrossFit workout. So don't yeah, we always have have a couple groups like your fast group yep. who runs this so you'll always have a, a, a little squad that you're moving with that's all kind of moving together so we'll grab like you know we'll have a quicker group you know medium group a slower group and so you always have like a crew that you're running with and you don't feel like you know you're straggling along you know yeah. so it always yeah. we always have like a really good uh, overall group where and the energy is great so don't feel like you're going to be left out that way um, next thing we want to kind of chat about and I'm excited to, to just talk about these things so this is something that you know when when Kate and I first started dating it was you know we went on a trip and it was uh, something we chatted about that was always like a dream of ours is, is starting to do um like an annual fitness or wellness retreat. So Kate and I both like to travel. If you guys see, and I've even talked about it on other podcasts, like, you know, I don't like to have like a lot of cool stuff or like a big house or a nice car and, and things like that. So, but what we do like to do and what we spend our money on is we like to take, you know, three or four trips a year. And that's what we really like to do. But what we have really worked on is finding this cool balance of, 
having fun, uh, fitness, wellness, and coming back into everyday life, you know, rejuvenated. But we want to take this to another level because we've we've been adding things into our, our daily, weekly, monthly routines, things like daily meditations, um, working with like Maria, like doing these sound bath things, things that are helping like our mental health and helping us really perform at a high level at work, but then also with our relationship and things like that. So what we are planning on doing this fall is a uh, fitness retreat, uh, the proposed location we've started to negotiate is going to be in Tulum. If you guys have seen like the jungle gym, maybe on Instagram, stuff like that. So we would be doing it with the hotel that's partnered with the jungle gym. So we'd be doing workouts there. We'd be doing things like, uh, you know, daily yoga in the morning, working out at the jungle gym, excursions, meditations, uh, Lots of different activities for fitness and wellness, having an intensive three day process and then be a little bit more relaxed and, you know, still doing the fitness and wellness thing, but relaxing, having some drinks and really enjoying it, making it a vacation as well at the end. But learning how to have that balance on vacation and then come back with a really deep, profound experience. Um, and we, you know, we kind of almost test drove it a little bit when we went hiking in, in Colorado this mm -hmm. year. And mm -hmm. uh, so now we want to put together a real official program. If you watch this and it's something you would be interested in, whether you're at the gym or not, you can email myself, Brandon at CrossFitGrandview.com or LongsingerKate at gmail.com and just get us on your radar and, uh, you know, we're planning on probably it's going to be a small group, 10 to 12 people this year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if it works well, we want to make it an annual retreat that, that that's associated with the gym and the body biz and and make that a part of like, you know, the whole program that we do. So, I mean, do you have anything to add to, to that? Like, um, yeah, thing? well, I, I'm not sure if we mentioned a date, but we're kind of targeting like the third week in October. Um, I personally um, went on a retreat in Tulum. It's been maybe like 16 or 17 years ago, and it was a really amazing trip. And I always think about it, like when I think about uh, different just uh, things in my life that have really affected me. And um, I was in Tulum and there's great um, Mayan practices there. They're uh, very spiritual. Um, so they come from a lineage of uh, basically these spiritual practices, body work. Um, they have like Mayan clay massages. They have uh, um, the... Uh, Trying to think where, where you're in, like the hut with the the um sweat lodge. Sweat lodge, yeah. yes, thank you. They have a sweat lodge that I did. That was a great, just a great experience, really, just to elevate your um, mental state and really help you dive within uh, to work through whatever you need to work through to uh, be more at peace and happier. So um, that's really what we're focused on. It's what I'm focused on a lot in my own personal journey and then with my body biz clients now is, okay, you can be physically healthy, but you mentally might not feel well. And how can we feel great all the time or as much of the time as possible? Um, and then to parlay into that, uh, Maria Catalan is a good friend of mine, uh, an amazing person, um, and she is going to be doing a meditation and sound bath um, event at the gym uh, Sunday, February 20th, around 4.30 p.m., and this will be like an hour-long event. Um, we both personally have done sound baths with uh, Maria uh, she does a very intensive, like, shamanic session, um, but then she also does these, like, group events where it's a meditation for about 20 minutes and then a uh, sound bath afterwards. And the sound bath is just very healing. Um, it's sound healing. So it's relaxing. You'll just bring a yoga mat, a uh, blanket, a prop, um, and attend that. There will be a small fee, but basically we're going to charge 
our members about half of what it would normally cost because we would love for you guys to experience this. And it's something that we want to start to just offer these different uh, services and see what sticks with you guys and um, what you enjoy and um, try to just introduce you to some of our the mental practices that we've taken on to be part of our life um, to see that might help you as well. Um, if you have any questions about that, please reach out. Um, but the time's 4.30 p.m. and we'll probably bring a, a babysitter in for uh, the child care. So if you want to come but you have kids, you can bring your kids as well. Um, we still have to pay for the child care, but there'll just be a small fee for the sound bath as well. Yeah, so guys, these are just a extra things. Like, these are small offerings. Again, nothing's gonna change about our core CrossFit thing. This is just some stuff that Kate and I have been doing and, and that we wanted to share with you guys and, and, and offer in small groups if you guys are interested in it. And we're super excited about the future and what we've got coming up in 2022 and uh, the Open and all the events. And basically all we're doing is adding to the offerings we've had the last five or six years. And we can't wait to just keep layering new things on and and be able to take the you know your your health and wellness deeper with you know things like affiliate pt and all the things that we're continuing to learn and grow uh we don't want to stay stagnant and that's something we've never done and you can just look forward to more better and and deeper things that we're going to be doing here and uh you know, we will be coming back with another podcast soon. Thanks for joining us on this one. We'll see you.